Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Mike's Vehicle Spotlight on Facebook today to keep informed on any upcoming videos and vehicles that I have in the near future. That's www.facebook.com slash Mike's Vehicle Spotlight. Once again, thanks for watching and enjoy today's feature. Here on Mike's Vehicle Spotlight, I normally like to try to focus on brand new vehicles, but today I found a 2002 Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet. The Porsche 911 made its debut for 1963 as a two-door luxury sports coupe with a rear engine and rear drive design. It is one of the most popular and successful competition cars to ever be produced. The 911 is in its 6th generation currently as of 2011, but this 2002 model sits within the 4th generation. Even though all 911s are sold under the 911 nameplate, their body designs feature a different number. The 4th generation is known as the 996. The word Carrera is also Spanish for race. Today's 911 Carrera came equipped with projection beam xenon headlamps with integrated fog lamps and headlamp washing system. The smooth aerodynamic hood leads down to the Porsche badge near the edge of the hood line. The front bumper features several air slots. The 996 is 174.5 inches long and sits 51.8 inches tall. Today's 911 Carrera is featured in the speed yellow exterior color. Its sporty side profile consists of an aerodynamic shape with smooth curves throughout. The side mirrors are color matching with lower black accents. The mirrors themselves are fully powered as well as heated. The door handles are also color matching. The sides feature unique flared out rocker panels. Today's 911 came equipped with the optional 18-inch aluminum alloy Carrera wheels with four-wheel anti-lock vented and perforated disc brakes behind them. Traction and stability control systems were optional, but are equipped on today's model. The four-piston alloy brake calipers feature the Porsche name on them.
Today's 911 also features an optional Carrera-style rear spoiler with center brake lamp. This replaces the standard speed-activated rear spoiler. And underneath sits the rear deck lid heat extractor vents. The tail lamps curve smoothly around the rear corners. The rear bumper features two exhaust outlets. The interior of the 911 features plenty of sport looks and feel. The 911 Carrera Cabriolet also features front driver and front passenger airbags as well as side mounted door airbags. Today's 911 Carrera features black leather seats with perforated inserts and speed yellow stitching. Both front seats are powered and heated. The driver's seat also features memory presets for two persons. The speed yellow seatbelt color was also an option. Next to the driver's seat, you will find your hood and rear deck lid releases, as well as your driver's seat memory preset controls. The interior door trim consists of your mirror controls next to your outside mirror, speed yellow stitching, a metallic door handle, a stitched airbag hub, a hideaway door pocket underneath the armrest, and one out of 12 Bose speakers. The dashboard has a nice design to it, allowing all of the controls to be close by and easy to function. As in Porsche tradition, the ignition is located off to the left side of the steering wheel. The driver sits in front of this five-piece gauge cluster that features an 8,000 RPM tack, a 200 mile per hour speedometer, and gauges for your charging voltage, coolant temperature, fuel level, and oil pressure. The tachometer features a driver information display that will allow you to view your vehicle's mileage information, outside temperature, additional fuel information, displays any vehicle alerts, and much more.
There is also a digital speedometer off to the left and a digital clock off to the right. The driver grasps onto this leather-wrapped three-spoke steering wheel. Speed yellow stitching also surrounds the gauge cluster. Next to the ignition sits your exterior lighting controls. The left side of the steering column includes your turn signal stock and your driver information display stock. The right side includes your windshield wiper control stock and your cruise controls down below. Your emergency hazard switch sits next to the gauge cluster. Shown here are the single zone automatic climate controls with digital displays. Your cup holders are placed right above them. Today's 911 Carrera features an AM, FM, CD player powered by an available 12 speaker Bose sound system. The CD player is located behind the stereo faceplate. And down below are four CD storage slots. Shown here is the Porsche Stability Management Control Override Switch. Below that sits your Intermediate Wiper Speed Control. The opposite side includes your Central Locking Control, your Rear Window Defogger, Retractable Soft Top Control, and a Cigarette Lighter. The bottom of the center stack includes a storage pocket and your heated seat controls. The shifter is made up of aluminum and black leather with a leather boot and more aluminum at the base. The center console also features your front powered window controls, small storage pocket, and your rear window controls. The parking brake also features aluminum trim with the Porsche name stamped into it and the speed yellow center console was also an option. The center armrest opens up to a small locking storage console. The glove compartment is quite spacious.
The ceiling includes sun visors with lighted vanity mirrors. The ceiling console also includes two map lamps and your interior lighting control. Let's go ahead and put the top back. As with just about any convertible, the 911 Carrera looks much more exciting once the top is down. Two additional persons can be seated in the rear, though it may be tight for taller persons. And the rear seat backs do fold down to form partial storage selves. Under the hood sits a nice 11.7 cubic foot cargo compartment. Shown here is the Porsche's car cover. A spare tire and necessary tire changing tools are provided. Shown here is the Bose amplifier and the optional 6 disc CD changer. Under the deck lid is the standard 3.6 liter dual overhead cam 24 valve water cooled horizontal 6 cylinder that produces 320 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. This engine makes an EPA estimated 18 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway. It also features a 16.9 gallon fuel tank.
Today's Carrera is driven through the six-speed manual transmission. Okay, we're going to take a short test drive up to park the Porsche back at the front of the lot. It is manual, so we've got to kind of keep it slow. There we go. Top back up. I've got my tripod, so I wasn't able to exactly show you guys how the top actually looks from the outside when it's being lowered. And that concludes that. Well everyone, that concludes today's MVS on the 2002 Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet. I'm Michael Adams and I'll see you guys next time.